What up, what up? It's your boy Paul P. I serve God. I'm not God. This is just my opinion. And welcome to another episode of Uncensored Tuesdays with the one and only Emirachi. Hey, 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 hey. But we got a special guest today, too. We yes. got the one and only here to visit us for the first time. Hey. The one and only Big Spice in the hey. building. Yes. How's it going, everyone? Man, it's a beautiful thing, beautiful thing having you here at Big Spice. You know, uh, let the people know a little bit about you and everything like that, if that's okay. Oh, yeah. So um, I own a couple businesses, but on top of that, I am a model. I work with a lot of, like, our big celebrities. Um, not going to put any names out there. But, you know, I'm in a lot of their, like, music videos, stuff like that. I also do OnlyFans and t- stuff in that nature. So kind of more so entrepreneurship, just using myself as the brand. Oh, I got lots of questions Dope. about OnlyFans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a whole lot of them, a whole you, lot you of see? them. How long have you been doing OnlyFans? I want to say about roughly two years. Nice, okay, nice, so nice. you one of the the top growing OnlyFans models, huh? Because I, I keep hearing so much about it, even though Black China just left. Mm-hmm. So, what made you get into OnlyFans and you know, put yourself out there like that? Yeah. So for the most part, um, I knew like this was like not where I was gonna land for the rest of my life, of course. So we went ahead and was like, okay, we could do like an OnlyFans like teaser page because still, even though it's like not much showing or not much giving out too much, um, people still buy into it. Mm. And so that's the thing, using yourself as a niche, but to your limit and to your morals. And so like me, myself, they wouldn't catch me doing anything on there that I don't do on Instagram, any other social media platform, and they still buy it. Because they mm. think something else is going to come out of it. And every time it's just a little more, and then it's this theme, and then it's that. So you have to give it, like, a niche of yourself, know what they're looking for, and give them, like, bits and pieces of it, but never, like, the whole cake, everything all together. Mm. Wow, wow. W- would you say, like, being on OnlyFans, like, is it more profitable than Instagram? You know, uh, you know, because, you know, Instagram, of course, we know if you're trying to market and promote yourself, Instagram is, like, the way to go especially like for models and things like that but would you say only fans is more profitable than being on instagram what do you you know what, what, is, what have you like been able to see from that so i believe it can be only because i have friends that are like retired kind of ish just doing mm. only fans i have one that's living like her best life being a hippie right now that's like her life inspiration she was in like the military stuff like that yeah. got OnlyFans, and all she does is cook vegan food. Mm. Vegan food. Oh damn! In a bikini. That, oh, in a bi- oh that's, that's dope. Oh, I need to that's join. It. And literally, she <laughs> <laughs> African food. Yeah, like she can literally <laughs> retire just doing that, just doing that. So it's like yeah. the simple things. The simple yeah. things you don't have to do too much. It doesn't have to be like oh Pornhub rated or X X rated. Damn, okay. I was gonna say so. OnlyFans yeah. ain't just about sex, it, that's you know, what I was and, and showing you know your body and you know stripping. OnlyFans ain't only just about that. No. Okay, I'm just saying because a, a lot of people think that that's what is. I ain't gonna. That's one right. thing that I thought. I've never. Every time you hear OnlyFans, you know you you hearing yeah, about a, a new age a prostitution, nudity, prostitution, <laughs> you know, modeling stuff like that. Right. But it's not just about that. That's what you're saying. Oh, it's not. So many content creators, it's people. I'm sure you guys heard of like the gaming platform Twitch stuff like yeah. that. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. It's girls on there that market themselves using the same kind of content Twitch has, just on OnlyFans, because OnlyFans attract those who play games, but then the other crowds as well that join in. Okay, dope, dope. Now, now, when it comes down to you, what are you um, kind of promoting on OnlyFans? Are you promoting the the the, the sexy side of it and everything like well, that, or you do Paul. something a little different? <laughs> I, I, I want her to explain. 
I'm Obviously, she's I'm not going to speak for her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know? Then they try to cancel me. I'm, right. I'm speaking up. No, no, no. She got her right. own voice. We're going to let her speak. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes down to like that, what, what are you doing on OnlyFans, you know? Right. So um, I'm not sure if she's told you, but I am a pole princess. So like Ooh. I even do like different type of shows like shows that people book me for i'll put it on there versus putting them on instagram because you'll have the full videos of like these burlet shows and stuff that i mm. do and wow. instead of having the full video on instagram where they're getting it for free snapchat whatever platform you have and just put it on only fans they're buying to watch these things mm. and i literally have girls that i teach at a dance studio like current times and literally they just learn off of my steps on there. They don't have to have counts or anything like that. They just literally break it down piece by piece. Mm. So now I'm attracting a field that's not even attracted to me sexually. Yeah. They just mm. want to know my art and my work. And that's more so what I promote on there. Of course, it's like the little sexy stuff every now and then. Yeah, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. you know, especially during holidays. Cause like Halloween time's a good time to just put stuff on there. Cause you always dressed up. Yeah. Mm. But then yeah. like when it's in between times, like what happens in the winter, what happens in the fall, spring, stuff like that. So it's just like, you got to bring yourself a little more niches to the table. And me getting on the pole, I've always had this, like, weird, strange body strength. I could lift about, like, 340. Damn. And, <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> 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 that deserves that. <laughs> You're not playing. Yeah. Like, I'm, okay. and I'm a very small person. I'm 5'0". Yeah. So everyone's, yeah, like, yeah. this small little petite girl. But at the same time, it just adds so much more value on you. I've yeah. had people that are just like, hey, we don't want you to strip nothing like that. We just want you to do the pole. That's wow. It. Wow. Mm. Okay. 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 Good small tie talent. That's dope. That's dope. Now, now, so on OnlyFans, so you don't do that side of it. You mainly, you know, doing your business thing when it comes down to the, 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 the pole stuff and everything like that. But you're not on there, nudity, you know, and everything. <laughs> that's not. That's not what you're doing. <laughs> no. Okay. 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 Got you. Got and you, it's got close you. to it. Some content would be like yeah, a little yeah. picture with like an emoji over, it, and it's like, okay. I'm okay. naked. You know I'm naked, but you can't see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Playing with him a little bit. Yeah. Teasing him. You know what I'm saying? Getting him in. Let me click that. You know what I'm saying? You know? Okay, you okay. Else? Yeah. Okay, okay. So what would you say to an aspiring OnlyFans model if she wanted to get started tonight? No. <laughs> you do it tonight if so, she wanted to get started. <laughs> understandably, right? You have yeah. your circumstances of life. Some people have kids husbands, relationships, different stuff mm -hmm. like that. Whatever goes along your morals, I would say do it. You're a niche. If you know, you know how to cook and you don't want to be nude in some type of way, that's totally fine. People get on there to just learn how to cook. Whatever mm. you're interested in, put it on there because you never know what platform it is. It's honestly like another like Facebook per se that pay? you got to pay for. Oh, okay, right. Exactly. Mm, so okay. it's just like you have all these different genres of different topics, subjects, stuff like that. And then all of a sudden now you have all these fans that send you just money for gifts or stuff like that. Yeah. So it's just like, yeah. yeah. And they'll send you money if yeah. you do stuff that they want to see. Mm -hmm. So like, if it's just like someone hits me up, Hey, I want you to wear this color and this bikini type. And I'm like, okay, all I gotta do is take a picture. Cool. Take a picture in it, post yeah. it, send me money. Yeah, well, Damn. you know, one, one thing I will I will want, you know, I want to ask because, you know, like I said, a lot of, you know, probably men like me and others who is not is very unfamiliar with OnlyFans think that, you know, a hey, people that are on OnlyFans is, you know, strippers, you know, uh, right. you know, porn and everything like that. Right. So how how is like the 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 being on OnlyFans, you know, when it come down to it, how is like the your, your dating life you know and everything you know like <laughs> do men have issues with you being on only fans or do do men That's have issues question. with maybe your friends are only fans as well mm -hmm. or is it issues in the dating direction you know when it come down to that right yeah. so um i've been in my relationship for roughly two and a half going on three years okay and i've had an only fan since i was with him in fact i was with him and then got an only fans yeah. so yeah. it was conversations that were had so where I did meet him is I was a dancer at the time. So during COVID times, those are like COVID strippers. Mm. That's what they call them. Yeah. We were just racking up the money from yeah. everywhere because that's when you had the PPPs. You yeah. had all the scammers outside. Everybody was getting money from the government. Even the people that didn't even live in this country was getting money <laughs> from wow. the government. Okay. Coming to the clubs, okay. throwing money, starting up clubs left and right just because people can't be outside in the regular club. So they got to make after hours. They got to make all these other things. Yeah. And... I actually met him there. He was the videographer for one of the clubs that I was doing and came in there. Dudes threw roughly about like 5,000 to 6,000 that night yeah. between three girls. So that's a right. cute little split. Yeah, yeah. And then 
he just comes over, hey, this is your content, stuff like that. And so, you know, going on into the relationship, he knew who I was. Yeah. He knew I was at the club sometimes. He knew I was doing pole. He knew I was doing this. In fact, he met me before I was really, like, where I'm at with the pole now. Yeah. And yeah. he was more so the encouragement because he's a videographer. He sees what sells. Mm. He sees a different kind of perspective that's just like, okay, I'm behind the camera. And I don't mind people paying me to film their OnlyFans because I'm just a cameraman. Mm. I'm yeah. not doing anything to put myself out there that's just like, oh, well, he got his dick swinging, you know, stuff like that. And yeah. it's just like, no, I'm respectable. I'm in a respectable right. place, and I'm honest about it. Yeah, yeah. And so when I got into it, he understood that I, in the future, I want to have kids, I want to have family, mm -hmm. and I don't want anything I'm going to later regret. So he knew every choice I made while going on OnlyFans was not to embarrass me mm -hmm. later on in the future. Wow. Mm -hmm. It was okay. to just set us for right now, and it just actually do up bigger than gotcha. we thought. Gotcha. We thought it was a little quick money, yeah. and you had to be dope. famous to blow up. That's yeah. not how it yeah. went. You just have to have these honest conversations in different perspectives that's just like, this is not what you think it is. This is actually this, and this is how we're going to pursue this. Yeah, oh, that's you. a confident man. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Paul, yeah. could you allow your woman to be on OnlyFans? Or? I mean, I, I'll answer that, and I got yeah. one more question. Uh, uh, Francis, also in the back, we hear like a, a sound of something else come in. Maybe if you could uh, cut the uh, the sound down in the back, that would be great. Um, I'll answer that. But before yeah, yeah. answering that, I went back. So what if he asked you today <laughs> if you could stop your OnlyFans? You know, if he said, hey, you know, I'm taking this, you know, relationship more serious. I'm going to go to another level, you know, when it come down to me and you. I want you to stop OnlyFans. Would you be willing to do that for the relationship? Right. So there would be a talk, another talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're not ready to give up that so life? Not necessarily. Okay. If he wants me to stop putting pictures or me dressing a certain way on there, I'm completely fine with that. I'm completely okay. fine. I could be on the pole with full clothes on. Like, it's not a problem at all mm. to just – have something that's mutually respected yeah so i would throw my proposals out there if he's not happy with it then i can drop it but it's still gonna be up so anybody who want to buy it, gonna buy it anybody who finds it finds it that's okay. on them so completely stopping is a no-go like that ain't happening yeah. you know what i'm saying that's respected you i know? can say i i would let it go wait wait wait. Just well, oh so you would you wouldn't i would so i would negotiate hey. it first and, oh. yeah <laughs> Keep talking, no. I would definitely <laughs> negotiate you gotta it first. Her. You got a good one. You know what I'm Let her finish talking. <laughs> Let her finish talking. All right. Don't mind him. <laughs> After the, the negotiation, if he still doesn't like it, I'm okay with letting that go because it's for bigger problems than mm. just that moment. Right. It's problems like tomorrow, who knows if the U.S. dollar is still going to be the U.S. dollar. Yeah. Nobody knows that. Everything happening on you know right now is just like who knows if we'll even be here tomorrow. Why yeah. am I worried about the small ones today yeah. that we have much bigger fish to fry later on? It's like, okay, I'll let this one go, but just know when I need something let go, you going to let something go because I, I wanted yeah. it to be let go. Yeah. yeah. But you know what? I, no I, would, I, would, I would respect as a man. Would, you mm -hmm. said, you know what? I, I, would, I would respect if you, even if you said this, like, okay, yeah, I might, I might do that or I would do that if that's what he wanted, but – he better be bringing some extra money That's to the what table. I was gonna say. I'm with that though. Mm -hmm. I'm with that. As a man, I'm like, look, I can't sit there and tell my woman like, "Hey, I don't really like this. Can we take this off the table if I'm not bringing home the bacon yeah, to yeah. make sure we're now good in that department?" You get what I'm saying? Right. Right. So, I mean, I would even be, you know, I don't even think it's wrong if you said something like that. Like, mm -hmm. look, if he was bringing the right type of money to the table, of course, you know. Yeah. But if we had to do what we had to do, then hey, right. I, I'm the one who paying most of the bills right now, you know. Right. So I would respect that too, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean, what was, what was that, that's what that's actually what I was gonna say. I mean, does it have to do with the income? Like, if he's asking you to take that off the table, pretty much what Paul was saying, because that is a source of income for mm -hmm. you. You know, you're a professional model, mm -hmm. and so if a dude that's not your husband asks you to drop something like. Something gotta give, nigga. We ain't engaged, we ain't married. <laughs> right. Well, I ain't right. dropping shit, but a motherfucking bill on you, right. <laughs> like to right. pay. So. But that's, again, that's if he he not bringing home right, the right, right type right. of money. And that's why I said take you care of right business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got you. Hey, you gotta let him be a boss. <laughs> yeah, you know okay, what I'm saying? Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's so, true. Now, in regards to, and, and, and I'm a, I'm gonna answer it. You know, the way that I think is the most appropriate and the right way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When it come down to me. The reason why I would say no, I would not, you know what I'm saying, you know, date someone who is on OnlyFans is because I know that I could 
make sure we good. You get what I'm saying? Right. I know I could be like, okay, you could do this over here, maybe this way, because I got you. Right. We'll, I right. will, we'll put 50k over here in that. Invest in you. Go do that. You don't need OnlyFans. Right. That's the direction I'm gonna come in. You know, yeah. if that was like, you know, what I'm saying. So, I will. I, it's important if you got an, a different alter, alternative. Mm. If you're gonna come in that direction, you know what I'm saying. So, so me personally. No, because I know we'll be good in other directions, you mm, know. But what if she really likes modeling, sharing her um, beauty with the world? Like, are you going to stop someone's dreams and goals because you don't feel comfortable and y'all are together? They got, they got, <laughs> we could go find some <laughs> other agencies and professional yeah. models. We could go figure it, we'll figure it out. Yeah. You know, well, I was, you know, I, I dated a model for a while. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and honestly, I wasn't even, even in a position that I'm in now, but I supported it. And I supported her with it, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, but I was also involved, like you know, she's going through an agency and everything like that. Okay. So you know, it was cool. I was I was with it, you know. It's just that I know when it come down to OnlyFans, you got let's be real, it's a lot of dudes, <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying? Yeah. Who who you know looking at it, Do looking it. at my woman body, you know what I'm saying? Paying, we know what we pay, what they paying for, and everything like that, you know. So, but if you go through like an agency or some type of sponsorship or whatever. It's not. It's not involving all of that. Dudes right. paying to watch you and don't know what they watching you for. You get what I'm saying? Right, you know. So right. I mean that. That's the reasons why. You know. I mean. You know. Any anything to kind of like say. You I know. Mean, when it come down to that. I would say it's the same thing with social media though. Some mm -hmm. of these girls, same that's stuff true. they'll post on mm -hmm. OnlyFans. People get it for free on their social media. Yeah. yeah. So it's just mm -hmm. like it can't necessarily be said that it's just like. Okay, you can have this, but not this. You can go to a modeling agency, but not this. Dudes would do the same thing for a modeling agency. Of course, of course. So it's you know just what I'm like, yeah, just yeah. two different platforms. I get where you're coming yeah. from as far as like the status of both, but at the same time, it's the same thing either way, depending on what she's doing. Yeah, it's yeah. It's the same thing either way. If she's modeling the same way she was on OnlyFans and this modeling agency. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, what's the difference? It's I the know. same thing. She's still showing yeah, her yeah. ass. <laughs> I mean, I mean that's true, but but that but that's why if you're a man <laughs> in the right position, you could say, I, I I ain't feeling it. You know what I'm saying? Let's do this. Like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I, I get what you're saying, but still, at the end of the day, like a lot of these dudes on on OnlyFans, they be stalkers. Let's be real, these niggas, they, they out they goddamn mind on. You know what I'm saying? On there all day, you know, paying. Down, you know, let's be real. And and I'm, and it don't take away from it. You beautiful as hell. You know what I'm saying? So it don't take away any of that. That's why I'm saying like I can even see you doing your thing. You know, uh, uh commercially as a model, I can see that too. Mm -hmm. So you know, that's where my mind would be in a situation like that. Right. But I'm just saying that's why I say that with OnlyFans because, you know, when it come down to it, we we know why OnlyFans is popping. A lot of stalkerish dudes that's on there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to look at some skin. You know, they they, they <laughs> can't they can't pull nothing on their own. They don't right. got nothing to look at at home. So that's where they at, you know. Yeah. But get your bread. It don't right. take away from that. You know what I'm saying? You use what you got to get your money. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying I think that if if it was other alternatives presented, you know, to you that, you know, you could talk about with your man if it got to that place, I believe that you could still be happy doing what you love without only fans. Okay. Yeah, okay. Most definitely. Yeah. That's, well, that's Black all China just left that's OnlyFans all for God, so we leaving them for something. I, but she made I mean, a whole lot of money. Like she, I know. Let, let's she yeah, like let's be time. real. That's what I'm trying to say. She, she took the money. Yeah, like, oh, Black China, look up. Like, yeah, like, look, look. Black China <laughs> done made super M's on OnlyFans. She could do that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, you yeah, know, that's true. And, and then we we need enough enough time to see yeah. what, what type of changes really is going on when it come down to Black China. You oh, know what I mean, come on, that's come what on. her mama's saying now. What, what are your that's thoughts another... on that Black China situation? Yeah. So I feel like it's kind of she's always had a history of like being very crazy, innocent. Yeah. So it's just like I really don't know what's coming next because it seems like a like a calm before the storm, and mm -hmm. I just don't want to see that storm like come through yet because it's just like it's a good image on her and i feel like as she's getting older especially because she has children this is a better look as a mother yeah yeah. and that's just my personal opinion on it because it's just like do you want to be seen as you know the only fans model that's been with this rapper that rapper every rapper you can name probably <laughs> <laughs> don't like that Fact. it's just like you know besides that what do you have you know, yeah. and it's yeah. just like once you come out of that, now she can be like, oh well, I got God. 
yeah, right. yeah. And right. A lot of times for a lot of people, that's all they need, honestly. So yeah. I feel like that's just a better image as a mother, her getting older, her coming out of the limelight kind of scene because she's been in it for a while. Yeah. So I think yeah. it's time for her to like kind of settle down, take care of, you know, her family and just keep it how it is. Yeah. yeah. And, and, I think and it's I, real. Yeah. I think it's in her heart. Like she says, mm-hmm. she's been doing all that and bopping around, tatting niggas names on her arm and kissing niggas online. Mm-hmm. You know, so <laughs> it's a lot going on. So now God touched her heart, you know, and her mom Hopefully. attacking her. This is how her mom was acting today. Who <laughs> needs enemies when your mama is doing that? Saying she's fake, she's a demon. And she's really trying to share her heart that she found God. Yeah, yeah. And that's real. And you know what I'm saying? Like, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I, it's, it, look, Black China was in that world for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Just continue. And she don't got to prove anything. She yeah. got to prove it to herself. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. You know, remember the only thing I said. I'm with it, and that's that's beautiful if you're making those changes and you want to get your faith right and all of that, especially for yeah. your kids. But I said, I just hope she ain't doing it for a dude. You know oh, what I'm okay, saying? Okay. I was just saying that because if she's yeah. just doing it for a dude, she's going to lose. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, <laughs> yeah, when it yeah. comes down to that, your past is your past. you still black China. Yeah. But you could change and you could grow, but do it for your kids and do yeah. it for your faith. Yeah. You know, when it comes yeah. down to a dude, like, if you doing it for that, you ain't gonna get the outcome that you want. I promise you that. I, You're right, Paul. I promise we, you that. We yes. So I, I just hope this that it's true. for the right reasons. If it's yeah. for the right reasons, hey, much support to her. And and also, let's see how long she going yeah. to this direction. I also want to see her sit down and t- and talk to young women and let young mm. women know. Yeah. Hey, I did it the wrong way mm. for a long time. Right. Tell the truth. Right. Be real about it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Don't just make those changes and say, "Oh, I'm this now." Let right. let the young women also know I did it wrong yeah. for so long. Been, Don't be like me. That. You know what I'm advocating. saying? Yeah, if she's doing stuff like that, I'm with it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But fully stand in your wrong to get to your right. Yeah. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? That's important. So mm, anything else? Yeah, yeah. You know, anything else on that? We, you know, we'll jump into it. Y'all ready to jump into the topic? Okay. Ready to get into the topics? All right, all right. So the uh, <laughs> first topic uh, today, I don't know if y'all saw, but um, LSU women won the national title game against Ohio. You know, basketball, did y'all oh, see the yeah, game or y'all yeah. heard about the game? Mm-hmm. You know, but um, it couldn't just be a, a great celebration for LSU because um, through the media and everything like that and, and, and social media, Twitter, they turned it almost into like a black and white thing, you mm-hmm. know? So I'm going to just read a little bit of the article and we'll go and um, get into it um, from there. So um, LSU women's basketball star Angel Reese, she was a star of LSU, Called a lot of flack for her taunting of Iowa's Caitlin Clark, and, and I and I just want to get perspective. Angel Reese, she's a black woman. Mm-hmm. Caitlin Clark is a white woman. All right, so she called a lot of flack for her taunting of Iowa's Caitlin Clark during the Tigers' national championship victory on Sunday afternoon over the Hawkies. Uh, social media has gone into a frenzy, with people choosing sides, either supporting Reese's actions of doing the infamous John Cena, you can't see me move, by waving her hand across her face or thinking it was too much as she also pointed at her ring finger to boost the win. ESPN's Stephen A. Smith thinks hate towards Reese's actions are driven by race because Clark was seen doing the same Cena celebration against South Carolina as well, waving off a player uncovered at the three-point line during the game with some saw as disrespectful, including the LSU players. Here's the reality of the situation. She instigated this kind of stuff. Let's call it what it is. She was waving. She was doing a John Cena. How about what she did to Raven Johnson? She didn't just go into the lane and did not guard her against South Carolina in the national semifinal. She waved her off. She didn't mind being disrespectful. So why is that? Uh, so why is it that we're hesitating to bring that up? You know, and I just go a little bit, you know, we're not going to read the whole thing. I'll go a little bit into a little bit uh, different detail. So Barstool owner, he's the owner of Barstool um, platforms, like million dollars worth of game is on Barstool. They like Apple, Spotify, you know, and everything. So that dude was one of the dudes who also on social media, who's more popular that popped off and said she was an idiot for basically taunting, which, you know, but he basically called her an idiot. And then I believe. Shaq and other people jumped in and, and, and said, you know, step off. You know what I'm saying? Like, basically having her back, yeah. you know, about the situation. So, so, I, so what was you going to say really quick before we no, go? No, go ahead, go ahead. So, I want to know y'all thoughts on this situation. I mean, I I got a feeling 
we're going to be on the same page when it comes down to this. But what are y'all thoughts on, first and foremost, Angel Reese, you know, uh, uh, winning and basically, you know, looking at Caitlyn and just saying, hey, you know what I'm saying? We the champs, taunting what people call it. What are y'all thoughts on that? And what are y'all thoughts on it becoming a black and white thing? Because LSU starting five is all black. Iowa starting five is all white. You had a lot of white people saying this and saying that. Black people st standing up for Angel Reese. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, what are your thoughts? You 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 you, you want to say I, something? You want to go look, first? I, I saw some. I didn't know what was going. All I heard was Boosie in the background. I'm like, hey, you want to talk <laughs> shit? You want to run your mouth? All right. So that's all I knew. <laughs> then on ESPN, I saw her, do, the black girl doing like this, uh -huh. and then they didn't show the white girl doing it. Then I saw on Twitter that the white girl had did it before. In I another game. That, in another. Oh, that was another game. It was a different game. You know what I'm I saying? I didn't even know what that meant. I'm like, okay, and yeah, like I got you the can't ring. see me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, don't yeah. see anything wrong with that. Like. Yeah. You guys are opponents, so mm -hmm. I'm going to talk to you any type of shit way I want to talk to. And didn't yeah. they win? The black girls won? They won. Okay, they won. Crap. LSU. You can't see me. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, like, we'll okay, mm -hmm. oh, well, it's nothing to do with race. And we already know five five starting blacks against five starting whites. Guys, Man. that's a slim chance of winning. I'm not sure. <laughs> to, I mean, come exactly. on. So you it's like, come that's on, stop playing you know? with me. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think it's a problem. Shit, I would have did that. Probably would have started twerking on her. Hey, we out here. <laughs> hey, yeah. You. I already know that you the leg going <laughs> exactly, up and everything. Exactly. I already know you. You know what I'm saying? Bent over. You know? Yeah, yeah. So okay, I don't okay. see anything wrong with it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What What are your thoughts on it? I feel the same as well. I've come from a very athletic background, and my whole like family has as well. So all of us have played every sport you could think of right. so it's just like oh. i feel like and the only sport i was only taught to have common courtesy and sportsmanship stuff like that was cheer and that's because you know you're cute princesses stay cute yeah. but oh. when it comes to basketball doing all these other sports i feel like it's that aggression there like mm. automatically you're going body to body with someone in basketball you know you're face to face with these people and you both trying to win yeah. So it's not like you guys have this space in between. Y'all just shooting from distances, you know, away from each other. Y'all have this friction already from the court. So it's just like if you win, you're gonna do it. So right. if I win, yeah. best believe I'm gonna I'm do that doing shit. It. Right. I'm doing it too. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. they was gonna Definitely. do it if they won. Yeah. yeah. If the yeah. white girls won, they would have all been like, of course, of course, of the course. whole team, and nobody would have said yeah. nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when it comes down to it, I'm like this. Like, let's not be brand new or, or act brand new when it comes down to this type of stuff. We already know when it's a situation where it's white over here <laughs> and black over here, it's going to be issues, yeah. especially if the white people lose because they saw her losing. Uh, yeah. Not all. I'm yeah. just saying a lot yeah. of times we've seen in the past, they do not like to lose. Yeah. And when they do, you're going to hear a lot of uproar in social media and everything like that. This right. is not new. Right. So to me, it's like, look, as long as us as people are standing up together and, 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 and coming together right. and, and, and having Angel Reese back, yeah. It is what it is. They gonna say what they want to say yeah. and how they say it. Now I do like that a lot of people in media, a lot of I saw a lot of white people in media did say like you know it wasn't right to like really get on Angel Reese because at the end of the day Caitlyn has done it herself before. Yeah. So why are you just saying something about her and yeah. didn't say nothing about that? I give them respect who said that, but I don't expect all of them to yeah. to, to say that. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day we know when it come down to people they gonna have their own back. Yeah. Regardless. Yeah. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? And they gonna say, well it ain't racist. Yeah. It ain't it's racist. Right. You know what they gonna say? <laughs> yeah. You know goddamn yeah, well it's, it's racist, racist as hell. You, see what you get what I'm saying? So yeah. it's that's the only thing that is funny. To to me when they started to say oh it ain't racist we're not looking at it like that yeah well why you didn't have a problem with it when she did it to a black player yeah. a couple of weeks ago right you said nothing right. no you know what they said at that time oh she got swag oh yeah yeah <laughs> that's exactly saying? she got swag that's she, what they you said. know what i'm saying she you know, stuff like that but yeah. when we do it oh my gosh she's no ghetto. she's tacky she's, she's classless tacky. i've seen all types Idiot. of comments i said what because she did like this i didn't even know what it meant i was like wait what's going on like yeah Okay. I'm like, just like you said, she like, didn't go on top of the scoreboard yeah, and start twerking. Yeah. <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't do all that's of that. That's what she should have right. did. Then we were like, okay, that's my nigga right there. <laughs> I know you would have been in a minute. <laughs> like, but, that's, yeah. Yeah, it was just crazy to me, you know, and at the end of the day, like, I think that this isn't nothing like, oh, my God, this is a shock. No, we see this all the time. Yeah. It's just hidden, and we don't really hear about it until we have a situation like this. This, this was the most viewed uh, 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 sports game in college sports. Mm. I think they said in like 20, it was in a long time. Over right. 10 million people watched this Damn. sporting mm -hmm. event. You know what I'm saying? And mainly, and I'm just being real, mainly because it's five white players on mm -hmm. one on one end 
five black players starting on the other end. Right. And and the best player uh, on the court, just to be real, is the is Caitlyn, who is the, the white the white girl on the oh, other oh, end. Oh, is she the LSU best had player? a better team, and Angel Reese, I would say, is the second best on oh, that court. Okay, okay. But Caitlyn, yeah, she's the best in the country. You know oh, what I'm saying? Damn. But LSU had a better team. You get what okay, I'm saying? Okay. So so you that's why it's the most yeah. watched. We we don't like to talk about it, mm. but we know what's going on. Yeah. Like, let's be real. Why people yeah, watching it with but, popcorn? Like, oh she I hope she wins. Yeah, you already yeah. know. They, She's not finna beat five black. Okay, but why did they Mick give Caitlyn and then um a couple other black in the team? There's no black people on that team. I mean not well, that well, black and white, but I'm well, saying. Well yeah, like, like Ohio, I see they bench and stuff. They got like two one or two like okay. other black players. Oh, and okay. LSU you got one or two white players. Okay. But the best players and the you starters start. okay. black yeah. and white. Yeah. You okay. get what I'm saying? Okay. So you know what really yeah. and, and, and before we move on, what really was crazy to me about this situation. So in sports who are the players that get to go to the White House? The winning team. The winning team, right? Always. So they Always. had something come out where Jill Biden said that she believed that both teams should come to the White House because Iowa, you know, uh, played really hard. <sighs> Impeach oh, Joe. hell no. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm like, Impeach what? him and his wife. Are you serious? <laughs> when have the loser yeah. ever went to the White House? Yeah. Just, that's how they do for their people. And you they'll make any know. kind of exception. Oh, we just want to be good sports and make sure we're recognizing all of their hard work. Bull Some stupid crap. answer about inclusivity based on basketball, which makes no sense. Yeah. And they're going to be at the White House. Bull crap. And you then know? the girl going to have to do this again to her right in her face. Bitch, I got the ring. Man, man. And your nigga. Man. And I'm sitting on it. And no. <laughs> 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 that's just you funny. What, what are swear. your what are your thoughts on that though? You know what I'm saying? Like Jill Biden coming out basically saying, "I think that both teams should come to the White House." What are your thoughts on that? So knowing history, right? I'm a big basketball girl anyway. Yeah. So yeah. it's just like I've always seen the winning team go to the White House. What I think it is is I know she sees the media and how it's portraying LSU and how it's portraying Iowa. I get it, you know, but I really think the full plan of it all is to show, hey, they have unity, so y'all get it together now. Mm. We gonna set them as an example, both of their teams here in the White House, so everybody else in the media can act right, and we can clear her name, and we can clear your name. Because now the white girl's name is no longer in the clear. After hers then came out that she done did it too, oh, so now it's controversy. And with both teams being there, it shows some type of unity, like, hey, we could be together in the same room even after all this happened. So I think it's really just a cover-up. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and I would say, what about the other runner-ups? You know how I many runner-ups? Right, you know how many people you have at a damn White House? Right. If you continue to have the runner-ups come to the... You know what I'm saying? Sports is competitive. It's about, hey, you lost, yeah. I won. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. But I, I do like that Angel Reese did say something about it. She called it a joke, you know, and put the little falling on the floor emoji and everything like that. Which is the truth. Like, she ain't saying nothing wrong. Like, it's like, what is this? This is a joke. You know, basically, yeah. you know, you, you trying to bring both of us to the White House. Yeah. But, hey, we already knew that it was going to be one-sided when it came down to this situation. Yeah. And even when it come down to Joe Biden, I kind of, like, laughed about it. Like, yeah. you knew it was going to be some bullshit coming out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, we know what it is. Look, us as black, this is what us as black people got to start doing. If we're not doing this, we got to start understanding and knowing what it is. Like, we don't have to continue to act like, oh, my God, did that really happen? Like, we know what it is. Yeah. We just got to keep on standing up for each other and fighting for one another. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't like when we're divided. That's the one thing that I don't like when it comes down to us, when we have division. Now, if we got in-house issues we got to talk about or discuss, let's talk about it and discuss it in-house as men and women, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't like the division when it comes down to dealing with um, – um, in interracial inequalities and all of that. I don't like when we have division with that. We yeah. know what it is, so let's make sure we're standing together when things like that happen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So that's you know I I, I did like seeing that with Angel Reese when it came down to our community. Everybody so far have been really stepping up. Yeah. You know, for even million dollars worth of game says something about the owner of Barstool and they own Barstool. Oh yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. So mm -hmm. I like stuff like that. As long as we do that. It's all good. We know right. it's going to be like that when it comes down to different races. So Yeah. No, I was going to say, if I was Angel Reese and they let both team come, teams come, I wouldn't even go. I would boycott that whole trip. Like, yeah, after it's not hearing fair. that, basically. Yeah, oh, if, like, they, if they do let, if they both, do teams let go, both teams go, okay. I wouldn't even go. Yeah, you know? yeah. Because yeah, it's talk. like how you – so on my time, on the black people's time, is when now everybody's included. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I yeah. mean, we'll see. But. Oh, you know if that do happen, Joe Biden out of there. 
<laughs> he out of there. He need to be out of there anyway. You know what I'm saying? That's I like like story. he's really in there because of the black vote. Let's be <laughs> real. You know what I'm saying? No, because he cheated. Uh, oh, here you cuz I know you, you miss Mrs. Saying? Trump. Here. <laughs> <laughs> you got Mrs. Trump. <laughs> In the building, the, you know what I'm boy. saying. Yeah, so crazy. I already know where you coming from with that, you know. <laughs> hey, but this term, hey, I'm I'm not finna really go into no detail, but I'm not finna sit here and say I would just vote Please for Joe don't Biden. Vote for Joe. I'm not even gonna sit here and say that. I mean, you know, I, I ain't saying this is a political table right now, yeah. but you know no, what? No, no, yeah, I, I see, drink. I see, you You like, hey, you know, like my 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 thoughts are somewhere yeah. else too. Is is that how you kind of feeling, or what are your thoughts on that? So I have. Um, Two different sides of the family. Okay. That are okay. Republican, and then we have our Democrat. Okay. So it's just like okay. we kind of have two opinions, and it's like we have the breadwinners that are on Trump's side because <laughs> Trump is <laughs> Trump is a money man. You already know what then it is. Then we have those that are quote unquote equal side. Yeah. And they're just like, no, Joe's gonna treat us right. This is what we and need. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm just like, the, I was just like, I don't even know if I should vote at that time. Man. I was just like. I don't even know what side huh? is. Crazy. Yeah, and I'm just like, I'm with the money too. But then, <laughs> yeah, I want help too. I want to be cared about. But yeah, then it's yeah. just like, now I've come to realize that you want someone, even though they speak their mind, it's a little rude. At the same time, he's giving it to you real, and either you're going to take it how you take it or man, not. You man. want a leader. And I respect that so much. Yeah, yeah. So much. That's one thing that I always said that I did like about Trump. You know you know what you was getting with him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I will say this too. He going to run it. I will say this too. My business made the most you when see, Trump was you president. You see what I'm saying? Hey, hey, look, look, look. Because <laughs> you know? y'all over here. Hey, hey, hey. Because Niggas, Trump, because dry. Trump, because Trump put a lot of different things out there when it comes down to uh, uh, business finances, owners and- business owners, taxes, and all of that. Mm-hmm. So you have a lot of bit better opportunities with yeah. Trump as president. So I, I, I get it when it comes down to like what you said, the money side of things and everything. Mm-hmm. People who out there getting money, they can see the difference and they know the difference, yeah. you know. So and now I mean, y'all done indicted them. I, I think that Dude, I know, think, that's a fake indictment. No, nah, no, nah, that ain't really no indictment. Yeah, I, I actually they people may say it's Trump. I think Joe, but Joe Biden got a, a a hill to climb up for this next election. We'll see. But I don't, I don't know. You know, that indictment may hurt him a little bit. It but, is, nah. You know, it will, uh, people but people are kind of like on different sides this time, you know. You got him for sending hush payments to a prostitute. You didn't get him on insurrection. You didn't get him on fraud. You didn't get him on any RICO. You got him on sending silent payments to a prostitute. That's oh, you're not going to hold preach up. for Trump. You see what I'm saying? I it, feel you. Yeah, I feel like I you mean, on stage just, four. Look, 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 talking like, to the know, people. Look, listen, blacks black for people. Trump. No. Listen. <laughs> Let me listen, stop. Okay? I'm about to cancel me. I'm done with you, Paul. Do not put this clip. Don't cut this clip and put this as a, as a single. <laughs> <laughs> because then I'm going to be canceled. My followers going to leave no, me. No, I'm just saying. I noticed like you sat up straight. <laughs> you started talking. Now, Trump only did this, okay? He didn't do that. You see what I'm saying? like, dang, you go hard for Trump. I'm saying. How you going to indict a man on prostitution payments? Like, uh, okay. I mean, uh, that means it's a witch hunt anyway. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hey, but but Joe Biden, you know, better better talk to his woman. You know, better talk to Jill, though, Joe. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Love the story. Yeah, you're going down in the polls, man. If you don't talk to Jill, we want to hear that you talk to Jill about this and say, hey, Jill, relax, all right? I right. love you. I know you won't pee, but relax. <laughs> right. You know, but uh, all right, anything else on this uh particular topic? No. All right, cool, cool. So uh, the next thing, we kind of talked about it last week, but some more information came out. So basically, uh, it's regarding Jonathan Majors. Um, you know, last week we talked about the saw situation that happened. Mm. And um, they're saying Jonathan Majors, uh, I guess his lawyer put his text messages out, and they saying his text messages that were supposed to help him is actually making him look kind of guilty. So I'm going to just read a little bit that we got right here. So on Thursday, Jonathan Majors' attorney, Priya Chandri released text messages that uh, purportly uh, that that purport to demonstrate in attorney's words that the Creed actor assault accuser admit that she was the one who used physical force against him. So far, however, the narrative does not appear to be holding up well with its intended audience. Uh, Let me see. One second right quick. It kind of froze a little bit. All right, so uh, domestic violence cases are. One second, I'm not too far to say. Is he out of trouble though? At least. No, not out of trouble. Basically, 
so. Damn. No. <laughs> uh, basically, no. Damn. All right, so domestic violence cases are like rear view mirrors. mirrors. Mm-hmm. These cases may appear as one thing until all the evidence is available. Uh, Gwendolyn Wendler, a domestic abuse expert and a survivor of abuse herself, told the Daily Beast. Major was arrested Saturday in New York following a domestic dispute. The NYPD initially said that Majors had been charged with strangulation, assault, and harassment. According to the criminal complaint, Majors allegedly struck his accuser in the face in the face with an open hand and left her with a laceration behind her ear. The complaint also alleges that Majors put his hands on her neck, causing bruises and substantial pain. Advocates have been emphasizing statistical link between strangulation and subsequently um, homicide for years. Um, The actor was arraigned Sunday on harassment and uh, assault charges before he was released on his own recognition. His lawyer insisted that the actor um, is innocent of these abuse claims and a lawyer later put out text messages in regards to this situation um, where basically his assailant um, was responding to him, and he, oh, my God, the way that they're writing this is just terrible. Wait one second. I'm, I'm going to go to a, I'm going to go to another article about this situation. Okay. The Daily Beast got words crossed. I never saw an article like that before. Well, what, but, but so far, so, give yeah. your, so far, give your, like, you wasn't here last week. So what are your thoughts on, um, at, well, I get to the text messages and what was in the text messages. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts on this situation with Jonathan Majors? His lawyer is saying that he's innocent. Um, it's been claims on the other end with her and her team basically saying that he did all these things, strangulations, assaulted me, and all of these type of things. So what are your thoughts on this? And you know who Jonathan Majors is, right? Yeah, yeah. So what ha- what are your thoughts on this situation with Jonathan Majors and his ex? So, um, of course, we've all seen Creed, especially the last one. Right. Really well, I good. haven't, but yeah. Oh, girl. I'm going to go see it. You need to get Somebody take me on a date. You don't even got to go to a movie. Which daddy watching? It's really good with, oh, like, a home-cooked meal <laughs> and, like, <laughs> A whole, you know, seafood platter, whatever you okay. want to do, because you're going to want to binge watch it. Literally, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I watched it over the course. I fell asleep the first night. Binge watch it? Is it that long? So, I don't think it was, but, you oh, know, coming okay, off yeah. of work, you just want to eat, go to sleep. And so, like, my boyfriend put it on or whatever. We're watching it. I go to sleep. I wake up the next day, like, so what happened next? And he's like, I don't know. I paused <laughs> it because you went to sleep. Mm. Right. But seeing that, uh, I do, you know, I do not condemn commend um, men who do, you know, domestic violence or anything like that. And we've seen a lot of these recent situations of men coming out more and more like men in the NBA or men, you know, all Mm -hmm. over the place in the limelight coming out to being people who just assault different people, whether it's um, that one basketball player that just um, came back, actually. He was like waving a gun in the air, and they caught on oh, video yeah, or Jay, something. Oh yeah, Jay, Jay, something. So it seems like all these. The one men, that was on the video having his gun, and he ain't even a thug. Jay Morris or something oh, like that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Of Memphis Grizzlies. Yeah, right. yeah, Ja Morant. So ja Morant. it seems like all these men, black men. I'm not sure if y'all noticed that one, but literally are coming out as, oh, this one got a gun, this one assaults a woman, this one doing this, yeah. this one got a case. So it's just like once they hit that one peak of everyone liking them, yeah. it seems like something around them is pointing them out to go downhill. Yeah, and I'm not sure if this is just a case of because I don't know who to believe in this side. It's fresh, so it's more so like we got to get more evidence from her. We got to get more evidence from him. We have to actually understand what Facts. actually happened yeah, before yeah. we can be like, okay, he wrong, prosecute him, or she's wrong, you know, do something about it. And a lot of times these situations. Even if the female's wrong, nothing happens to them, you know, which is pretty sad because I've seen men go down a couple years of their life losing opportunities just off of stuff like this. Yeah. Just seen it with some females. A female comedian, Tiffany Haddish, she almost went down, lost all her opportunities and had to build her way back up. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like, and everybody loved her. You loved her. We started from the ground. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and I'm with you Mm -hmm. on that. That's what I always say. I'm like, hey, at the end of the day, I want to see the proof. Look. I'm against that totally. Mm-hmm. I always say if a, if a dude ever put his hands on a woman, you should go to jail. I won't care if it's for life. You a scum. You a bum. You know what I'm saying? Because we know as men our strength when it comes down to, you know, mm-hmm. a woman. Mm-hmm. So if you put your hands or you get physical with a woman, knowing your strength as a man, knowing that yeah. you could literally maybe kill a, a, a woman by yeah. hitting her too hard, then you a punk to me. So 
if he put his hands on her, hey, dude, you got to go to, you know, whatever it is. You know, our brothers, whatever, got to whoop your, whatever it is. That's on you. Mm-hmm. But like like you said, something that makes, makes sense, and I always talk about that as well. When it comes down to this system and how people are accusing each other, let him be proven guilty. Mm-hmm. Let, let's let's see all the facts. Let's not just put this on him, not knowing what happened. But I, I want to read the uh, – before we go to your Marachi, I'm going to just read um, – the text messages okay. so we could um, kind of get on that as well so um as attorney for jonathan majors released text messages on thursday that he claims came from the woman who he is accused of assaulting in which she appears to take the blame for the fight according to the messages which has not been independently verified the woman wrote majors afterwards that i told them it was my fault for trying to grab your phone she also said that she was angry that majors had been arrested and that she had made clear that the charges did not have her blessing. I reiterated how this was not an attack, the woman allegedly wrote. The person who sent the text messages also indicates that she had injuries and that she and that uh, we had a fight. A, res- representative, a representative for the Manhattan DA said, we have an active and ongoing investigation but cannot comment beyond that. So with... You know, hearing a little bit of what's in the text messages and everything, you know, uh, and what we was talking about, what are your thoughts on that, Emrach? He should have stayed on our side. I can't give him no love, man. You yeah. ran over there anyway, so figure it out. You know uh, what it is when y'all be playing around over there in the sand. You see what happened to Samson? You mm-hmm. see Samson and Delilah? You gotta <laughs> stay. Your mama told you stay with these people. You want to go with Kim Kardashian, and your ass got your hair cut and lost your glory. Now you ran with this white girl. You maybe did or didn't slap her, and now your career is losing endorsements. So, why we always got to go there, though? I've been saying, why we got to go to the race? Like, why we got to go to you? Said so, on so North. you don't think he didn't do nothing? You but, don't think but, nothing happened? No, no, it's it's not it's not about that. I'm right now. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you involved oh. the race thing. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, okay. You involved. Forget that. What about Tamar Braxton? What about, you know what I'm saying? Well, uh, you know, uh, you, we never say nothing. We, you yeah, know. I know. And that's what I'm saying. Us, man, we big y'all up. And whoever y'all with, whatever. You black, you black. But who you yeah. with is who you with. Why I'm we got to go there? Well, I, well you know what, what you want saying? me to say for, oh, sorry. I mean, because. No. I'm if just, he if it would have been a black girl, he wouldn't even be in this. Nah, that ain't true. They, they I, I can't say be, that. Okay, maybe, maybe not. That. Okay, but. You don't know. I That's don't know, but I do know that because it's a white woman, they definitely call quicker. <laughs> <laughs> I do know that. So the police I, came I, quicker because it's a I'll white. I'll give you that, but yeah, so. we didn't see black men deal with these type of situations with black yeah, women yeah, as well. Yeah. I mean, I'm not making, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's true, too. I mean, you know? Yeah. I'm just saying, so and when, when it comes down to that, we got to kind of like, oh, stop, stop that. But we come just talking about LSU versus Ohio. You know? oh, no, no, no. That was a... Because you're going against us. Like, if you dating somebody that's mm-hmm. outside of your race, you're not going against your people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what well, I'm saying? Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, well, some days, you yeah. know. But when it comes down to you asked me a question, you said, do, do, do I not think that he did any of this? Yeah. I don't know. So, I don't know. I'm just not going to oh. convict a black man. So you think they already they trying to convict in the car him. quiet look, look. and they just called the police. Emirachi, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm a black man. They already try to convict us for anything. Okay. I always told you, if we go into court, we owe in one. All right? <laughs> Period. We lose. Unless we got our dust lined up right, we got our documents right, we right. got tape, we got recording. You saw they tried to trash Chris Brown. I know. This this girl put out a statement basically saying that he raped her and all of that, but he had text yeah. messages. Yeah. He had yep. recordings. He had all of that. Yep. You get what I'm saying? Yep. And then the case was closed. But before that, Chris Brown was getting, oh, he's guilty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So yeah. that's all I'm saying. Look, I got to see facts. Yeah. I'm not going to just say, oh, yeah, you know what? He could have did this. I don't know. And yeah. from the messages, they said that it kind of made him look bad because it didn't take away that she was injured. Mm. I still don't know if that means that he's the one who injured her. I don't know. I saw her waiting oh. to excel. She was whooping her own ass. I don't know. I'm not, look, look. Okay. okay. I, it, 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 look. But it, I agree. I, yeah. I actually agree with okay. that. Okay. Because it's, okay. it's women out here. Um, let, let's take, for example, because you're a black love advocate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, when we look at, let's say, Blueface and Krishan, when okay. you see them, you look kind of like her. We both Pisces. <laughs> For Sean Rock, I, I could kind of see a little see, bit. Of that. I, I can like, see a little bit of it. A little bit. Look at twin. But as you see, they both of them are toxic, but they equally do stuff to mm. each other. Mm-hmm. He hit her. She hit. And him. he. They haven't went to jail. 
Oh, yes, they have. I mean, okay. A <laughs> couple of times. Multiple times. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. We just don't hear about everything, but okay. yeah, a couple of times. But half of the time is, neither of them are calling the cops. It's people around them. Mm. And that's mm-hmm. what I have noticed about this situation. The run-in at the restaurant, or is it at his house, then it's his managers or people mm-hmm. around him calling. Or if it's, you know, I'm public, of course, I'm going to call the police. I see a man hitting a female, I'm calling. Yeah. So it's just like, in the most respectful manner, this right here is a white woman and one of our brothers. So it's just like, more so it could be that, it could be a blue face push on situation. We don't know. Because there's, <laughs> there's this kind of hidden. <laughs> she could be know. hurting herself. Yeah. We she don't could know. be. You yeah. know, to make it seem like, hey, he's hitting me. He's stronger. He's more built. You know, obviously it's his fault. He's done it. Yeah. You know, it just kind of plants the evidence. And when a female says something, oh, the law is going to run. Yeah. They run it for sure. So it's just like, versus a man, you call the police, hey, my woman just hit me with a baseball bat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, man, we'll be there in two hours. Yeah. Like, Period. Yeah, yeah. Handle Period. it. Get yeah. away. Yeah. That, and they tell you that. Yeah. They tell you, like, yeah. just get away from the situation. We'll be there. Yeah. But they're not there as quick as, you know, if a woman was on the phone saying a man was abusing her. Because mm-hmm. they see it as a higher chance that she might not survive that situation. Yeah. yeah, yeah versus yeah. a male. It, it's a chance he can't survive that situation either. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. if he comes out, gets back with this lady, is it going to be, oh, we listen to her and now we can't save him? Or we listen yeah. to just her side and now it's just, it, it is, is what, what it is. is. His right. career is what it is. Right. Because a lot of people don't want to work with you yeah. when you have these type of things you know, on yeah. your record. Man. They already dropped it. And let me tell you why I'm rocking with Big Spice. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you why. Because... Big Spice ain't over here saying that, oh, all men are are innocent or anything like that. But she's showing that I'ma have it. I'ma have my men back. I'ma have they back until I'm proving that he did something wrong. Mm-hmm. But you got to show some proof. I'm not just gonna go against men like a lot of women out here do. <laughs> that just wanna go against men. You got the feminists and all that. Just wanna go against men for no damn reason. <laughs> well, I like not, the, I like, not I, I'm just, I'm, exactly. I'm, <laughs> Thank you. They well, are not going against I, men for no reason. No, no, no. I'm, we can, start, a, we some, can name 20 is, facts is right not, now. Is it not a lot that do, though? I, and no, no, no. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm, no and when, mm-hmm. I say, when I say no reason, I mean going against the majority of yeah. men. Not the couple of men you've been through mm-hmm. something yeah. with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of you course. Know, it's a lot of women who go against all men because of what they've been through with that yeah. one or two men. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm just saying I don't feel that or see that with, with Big Spice, and I, res- yeah. I respect that. Because yeah. at the end of the day, if you ain't shown me that you did something wrong, I'm going to have your back. I'm going to have my men back, yeah. the black men yeah. back, right? But if you did something wrong, you did something wrong. Yeah. A lot of women don't give the benefit of the doubt like that. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that's you know true. what I'm saying? That's true. Um, yeah, that's true. And I respect that. Yeah. Another one. <laughs> okay, Another when one. do I get a bomb? <laughs> you, watch, you be going, you be Bitch going looking a, for a bomb going, today. You be going, a, you be going against it. Right? I'll give you a bomb. <laughs> But look at you, look how you started this up. Oh, that's what you get when you leave <laughs> when you lead a black woman. That's what you get. You don't think that's you what, what they think? The audience is think that. Okay, fuck no, that no I'm just saying. Like, why you gotta go here with I, it? Oh, I didn't want to, but I mean, sometimes you have to stay the obvious. A lot of people are thinking. Yeah, they. Are, I'm you don't think we want to have a Jonathan Majors on our team? Look, and I, de- I kind of look side eyes when I see yeah. our opposites. Where our opposites. It, but then well, that's natural. It you is, know what I'm saying? Is. Yeah, yeah. I, that's natural. Taking all I get that Creed money but over I, there. Look, look, look. They already got money. Bring but I'm it just over saying, here. you don't got to go there. I'm just saying, at the end of the day, no matter what, he is a black man, no yeah. matter what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. I mean, ha- 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 have his back until he proved, he proved that he. You wrong, or but give you a reason to though? not have his back. That's all I'm saying. Paul, you know, did he do that's it? what's wrong with him. Let me tell you this, and let's be real for a second. Do you think white. Asian or Hispanic women, no matter what, is gonna go against their white, Asian, or Hispanic men. You don't see it. I don't I don't see that shit. Unless they're proven wrong. That's all I'm saying. We do not see that. They have they have yeah, theirs back. Yeah, they've covered Those other cultures, things, you can't yeah. break them apart. Right. All I'm saying is that look, if you're wrong, you won't gotta get that. But man, stand with the men. That's yeah, all I'm saying, yeah. women. Stand with the well, men. Well, no tell matter. them to stand with us. No, no. <laughs> but when you say that, you're talking about saying. being in a relationship. I'm no, saying no matter what, general. if you're black, you black. Stand with yours. But 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 mm-hmm. for the most part, black men do. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, niggas ain't on shit. You but, see the type of videos that be online. That's Y'all personal, though. Playing. No, see, it's not. When we're talking I about the relationship, well, let me let me say, okay. when we're talking about the relationship, the cheating, whatever you're going through, <laughs> here, that's here personal. Paul go. This that's ain't got that's to do personal. With that. Whatever you're going through, that's Paul, you and that I'm person you with. I'm not going through none of that. I'm, I'm talking about niggas ain't on shit. I'm, ta- 
I'm talking about standing with each other when we're dealing with these other issues and problems that are out here. Yes. That other cultures they stand together with, but we don't. But we, we become divided when we deal with stuff like this. It's okay. a it's a women over here, the man over here, and yeah. you may have some women over here, some men over there. But for the most part, we're divided. We gotta learn how to stop doing that. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. You oh, know? just be just okay. So what if we don't? What if they're really wrong? So we're not, I'm not gonna stand understandable. With of and course. I'm not saying he's wrong because we course. haven't, like you said, the evidence you're and right. everything hasn't really fully played out. Yeah. But y'all not about to keep having us coddle black men and bad behaviors. Look at where you're you know going I mean? with I, because it. Because it's true. We not, nobody y'all gonna have said, us mama and everybody. Nobody y'all gotta said, start doing what you need to do and quit being in the wrong places, doing the wrong things and being on the wrong shit. But, like, but, no, but no, nobody said if the person is wrong, men or women. Okay, right, right. We wanna, no, right. that's understandable okay. in situations like that. I don't think that the white people is representing Harry Weinstein right now while he's doing 30 <laughs> years. You get what I'm saying? He's wrong. Yeah. They not rocking yeah. with him. Yeah. So understandably, okay. if you wrong, you wrong. Okay. I'm just saying when it comes down to certain things we deal with out here, a lot of times women is not going to stand with you or the man is not going to stand with the women no matter what. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm just saying that we got to figure this out and we got to stand together when it's all said and done because if we don't got each other, who in the hell is? Yeah. That's, see, that's why, this is what people got to say. This is why we get disrespected as a culture a lot from other cultures. You know why? Because they don't even see us standing with each other. Mm-hmm. So they're like, why in the hell we got to stand right. with them if they ain't standing with their own? You right. get what I'm saying? Right. What do people say low-key in the background when, they, when it comes down to back in the days when slavery started? Let's just be real. I'm going deep, but I'm just going to go in. Oh well, um, they didn't black people sell their own people. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Even even though when it came down to the slave owners and all that, they was white men and Europeans and all of that, right? Mm-hmm. They like to go to those places. Didn't y'all do that to your own people? Right. So they telling us in our face, look, why do we have to do this when your own didn't? That's right. the thing that we got to start to pay attention to. Yeah. If we're not standing together, they're looking. They're okay. watching. Yeah, you may yeah. be getting a nice check from them, yeah. but that's only you. Yeah. As a whole, we're looking bad. Yeah. So I think that we need to start paying attention. So to how that. do you think we can take the steps to start that c- t- together cohesiveness between us, men and women, black men and black women? Not being afraid to have conversations like this amongst each other. When it comes down to us as people, when it comes down to relationships, all that, we got to recognize, yeah, when it comes down to the marriage rate, uh, black women 18%, uh, black men 22 to 24 percent that's low yeah. we got to figure out why is that happening why is our marriage y'all walking, persist- girls, and, and not like just that. see Instagram. where you go but, but look at where well, you go did you with see it. that mle chopper look video at, i did but, okay. Amarachi, no pull look, it up but look at where you go with it i'm tra- i'm trying i'm bringing up something that is very true mm-hmm. it's very factual yeah. but look at where you go with it I'm it's, saying, is that anger stuff come out he, because y'all do it is that stuff that's why we can't get nowhere is that is that right there was just walking to suki on with the good coochie and other the girl with leashes is that who we're married but, but, oh no but, it was but, by the hair it you, wasn't it, even by, by the leashes. hair this, this, this but, is what y'all on so that, why would anybody commit to that okay but i'm just saying why would anybody commit so that's like me that's saying, some percentage hold on, hold on. of the black that's like men. me saying why would anybody commit to young miami over there saying that uh uh she let dudes do this and do that what did it say <laughs> pee on her and all this why why would you commit to that you get what i'm saying oh i'm on some city girl shit you know why would any dude commit to that you get what i'm saying so well, i'm just saying she can we change. could we could do the back and forth all day uh, okay so I'm just saying we right. got we got to have conversations, real conversations that bring us together yeah. and not just that separate us and yeah. say, I ain't dealing with that shit. You get what yeah, I'm saying? Because yeah. most of the time we having those conversations with like, I ain't dealing with her. <laughs> I ain't dealing with that. Nigga. Yeah. That's that's what yeah. we do most of the time. And if we continue to do that, we're going to continue to lose. We think because we win individually, we're winning as a whole. We're not winning as a whole. Let's be real. Mm-hmm. We're not, you know. So that's what we got to start to, you know, recognize and have those type of conversations at tables like this mm-hmm. amongst each other, not be afraid to have them respectfully mm-hmm. and understand as a unity that, hey, no matter what, we're going to stand together, mm. period. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No matter what. And if we got in-house issues, we're going to talk about them in-house. We're going to come together amongst each other and discuss them. You get what I'm saying? Well, we got to start doing stuff like that. So. They actually <laughs> do. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to help y'all. Look, man. Look, Africans want to be I separate. think everything just takes a conversation. All right? Everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of hurt, man, a lot of pain, not... a lot of wounds going. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Go. Here and we go. And conversations be... can fix them all. We just don't have them. But uh, well, anything else on this topic no. before we go on? Yeah, you got it? Okay. I think we're good. Okay, cool. But w- this next topic kind of have something to do 
with something that you mentioned earlier, oh, Emirachi. Oh so <laughs> D'Angelo Russell is getting harassed on IG for having a baby with a white woman. <laughs> that is not that is so let me read this. you mentioned you mentioned this so i got so look that's what i'm saying we gotta have these conversations okay, let me, you know disclaimer, saying, so i am not against <laughs> interracial biracial relationships you I'm be sounding you, like it I'm because i might you be, be on a like jet it. with an italian man or i might be with a chinese man and so we're gonna I'm say not, hey, hey, hey your, but you better say hey, hey too if that dude is with some <laughs> russian you know what i'm saying <laughs> Or some Jew or something like that. <laughs> you 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 better say hey, hey too. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some China is walking in, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Francis walking here with a Chinese woman. You better say, hey, Francis. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you better yeah, do that. I am. You know what I'm saying? If she but, cool. But let's see where you go to. Let me read this. So D'Angelo Russell harassed was harassed for having a baby with a white woman. D'Angelo Russell was once viewed viewed as the Lakers' future. But he became a journeyman early in his career. He got into controversy with the Laker teammates and things like that. Um, let me see. Hold that up. Let's see. Let's see, rated. Um, I, I'm gonna skip all that. I'm going straight to it. Okay. All right. Uh, D'Angelo. Uh, D'Angelo Russell finds himself back with the Los Angeles Lakers. The team is currently in the middle of a postseason push since the 2020 championship. The Lakers have struggled as a result. D'Angelo Russell has returned to the team. The fans are upset with him once again. However, this has nothing to do with basketball. In fact, this is nobody's business but his own. Recently, Russell welcomed his child, and the mother is white. Unfairly, fans on IG are criticizing him in the comments badly. Um, let me just see some of these comments. Let me see if I could, because they got them in small. Uh, I'm going to just read some. <laughs> Comments be so All funny. right, so somebody's saying, black athletes love snow bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> you d that's, All right. that's, I'm just, they do. They, they just, do. they got an inferiority complex. And they right, can't get out of it. I see it at a young said. age now. I'm seeing yeah. it with younger men. See, I have other businesses outside of doing this. Yeah. And I have younger men under me that mm -hmm. I employ. And of course, you know, yeah. they're cool. They're like my little brothers, right? They're yeah. like 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So they're like, they're cute to me. They're yeah. just like y'all children. Yeah. And s them, they actually prefer. Some of them have been D1 basketball players, yeah. football players as well. And they say they prefer white women. All right. So, so somebody, somebody. Oh. <laughs> The fact that y'all just the, the fact that y'all <laughs> discussing who he choose as a mate is the exact reason folks don't date black women man, to begin. They with. always trying to blame it Ooh. on black women, man. That the niggas ain't big. on shit. When um, can we pull up the chat? <laughs> okay, I want to argue with some niggas today. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll uh, Let me see. Uh, dog checker IG page. She got ass. Uh, how about just celebrating D Lo? and his woman's child together. That's a fact, man. What, it's a child, come on. And no matter what, like, one thing I always say, no matter what, the child is still gonna be labeled as black. Exactly. No, I, you know, I, I, no matter what we say, think, whatever, the child is still gonna be labeled as black. Yeah. It's a lot of, you know, a uh, 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 mix, you know, cousins that I have and everything like that. And they all, at the end of the day, is black. They look just as black as me. <laughs> Some Hispanic, white, whatever, but they all black. Yeah. So, uh, Hawaiian, Samoan, all that, all black. Mm -hmm. So no matter what, you're still going to be black. But, I mean, uh, um, you know, what do you what do y'all want to share when it comes down to this situation with D'Angelo Russell? So it, it's different because it, it's white women, per se. And I feel like as a black community, we have a problem with black or black women or men mm -hmm. just being with outside our race but say it is a Samoan we're happy about that mm. yeah. you know those are things we celebrate because we quote unquote consider them as black yeah um and then we have like our Hawaiians are like different you know cultures that we add into our and I can say like I, I'm a mixed child my mom's straight yeah. from the Philippines barely oh, speak English just still <laughs> so it's just like you know coming from that background as yeah. a child it's hard so yeah. already putting that pressure on that child, that child just came out. Yeah. He probably yeah. not over a month too old. And you're already putting pressure on the child. Hey, yeah. you have a white mama and we don't like that yeah. because your dad's black. Or you have, and mm -hmm. it's controversial to the white side as well mm -hmm. because it's just like, why would you have a baby with a black man? And it's all these other white men out yeah. here. So oh. it's just like, I feel like on both sides, it's questionable for both races. But yeah. as a black community, we have to stop being like, hey, this is a white woman because when that baby grows up, that baby black. First thing I put on any application, I'm black. 
Period. Yeah. Yep. yeah. You'll see the Asian when I come in. That's yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> I know. But before anything, I know you see my complexion. And yeah. that's with all mixed children. You'll see first they black, and then they'll ask you, what are you mixed with? Yeah. Uh-huh, now uh-huh. you got to tell them the extra stuff you mixed with. Because yeah. the first yeah. thing they see is that you're black. Yeah, yeah. They don't ask you any other questions yeah. like, oh, okay, you know, are you white mixed with what? Yeah. They don't say that. And yeah. let's be real, because you said you uh, partially you Asian. You said yeah, that? I'm Filipino, Cherokee, and black. And let's yeah. be real, the Philippines ain't rocking with you like your black people are rocking with you, right? Um, Let's be let's be real. When you go, you know what I'm saying. It's different because my mom's a baby of her okay. siblings. Okay. So all of them support her, and she's about eight years younger than the yeah. one before her. So it's just like at first, and this is when I was a child that I end up hearing about once I got older. And mm-hmm. this is why you have to be careful about certain things you say and do about a child pertaining to a child, especially when they're young and you think, oh, they're not gonna hear about this when they're older. They're not gonna think about this. They're not gonna come across this. Yes, they are, because yeah. my Filipino side of the family didn't accept my dad's side of the family and it's just more so that's not what they're used to Mm -hmm. all of my mother's sisters brothers stuff like that they got married to in our race Mm -hmm. then she's the black sheep of them all Mm -hmm. and want to go date a black sheep (laughs) (laughs) oh it's always like that real talk black sheep Mm -hmm. so it's just Mm -hmm. like for the most part i think both races you know have their own opinions towards it but if both communities just get together and be like hey this this is a product of us yeah and that's what it is yeah because yeah. that's gonna carry along with him he gonna see when he older yeah. this oh, was yeah, about yeah. you on the blog yeah. and you know i said that and i wasn't saying that as to say like you know your, your, your filipino family ain't rocking with you hard i said that in a way to say at the end of the day when you get looked at your skin is black yeah you know what i'm yeah. saying mm-hmm. so you know black people ain't gonna see you no different but somebody from another race like, oh, okay oh you are this as well oh, okay they have to mm-hmm. kind of like find that out but black if you black you black you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying you getting claimed as black so Right. Um, I think that was something good that you brought up. Though. Uh, so, what are your what are your thoughts, Emirach? I'm not offended at all. I don't even understand what's going on. Like, okay, that's like, that's a shock. What do you mean you're not offended? <laughs> no, it's, well, he's not he's in trouble. Go with, hard all he, the time. He's not in trouble with the law, so he's doing She's what like, he needs to do. This is a good white woman. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't beating her never, down. Never, he, you saying, ain't never. I'm saying I don't even feel no that's type a, of way. <laughs> I'm, we didn't have many topics. You, ready to go. Okay. <laughs> you already know. Wait till y'all ask. Until I start to break up Serena Williams <laughs> and all the rest of them, that's when you start to not say nothing. But, Look, you know, we didn't have many I conversations don't. on here where you going hard on black men when they with somebody else. Because they already, because they're when they're in trouble and you know how it is, I'm, it's like, well, you shouldn't have went over there. What you want me to do? You it's went not over just there. the ones that are in trouble. Okay, which ones is it? It was a couple. I would have to look at, but it was a couple that they're just with that person and stuff. Like, oh, one of them was um. I was happy well, when um, what's his name had the baby with the white girl because she was older. Remember? Who is that? Who daughter? Deep, who deep daughter deep. is is with? Is, is it um um? Is it Bill Clinton's daughter? Who was with that with the black man? Is one of them who have a daughter no, who is a who president? That? And we were, and we brought them happened? up. They had the New Year's Eve picture. Everybody was kind of oh, like Meghan Markle and not her. It was like Bill. I think it's Bill Clinton. You know, one of them, one of them oh, have a daughter, okay. and he's with a uh, she's with Clinton's. a black man. Oh, okay. I don't. Know. I, I think it is a Clinton. I'm no, I think it was Malia with the white boy. That's Trump. Oh, Trump's daughter is Trump. not Trump. No, 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 not Trump's daughter. No, 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 no. Know. This is. I'm telling you. Let's let's. Look at that. Okay. I'm telling you, it's Bill okay. Clinton. I'm telling you, it's Bill, Bill Clinton's, Clinton's daughter. daughter. I'm telling you. The oh, Clinton. he has a. Bill Clinton's daughter is with no. a black man, and he like no, he's, he's, she married. Oh, Bill Gates, Bill, my bad, Bill Gates. You're right, Bill Gates. We we okay. we talked. We had a conversation. We so we showed. Um, they had a picture up on New Year's that mm-hmm. everybody was like making an uproar about, you know, and everything like that. Mm. And we brought that up, and you you got into it. Like all our successful black men are with, you know, uh, white women, and did you you was going hard. I don't know if I was, but I might have been. I'm right. You always been. go. You better go look at some past <laughs> yeah. shows. Look, I know I be looking at the chat like, oh, what she talking about? What she? She crazy. She don't know what she talking. Look, you see what I'm saying? The, Even though this is a real perspective, the, the way I look at this is like, like we we need to stop this passport bros oh, things. Oh, and, that's let, let, let me t- let me say let me say this. Okay. We gotta stop these conversations. At the end of the day. Who you want to be with is who you want to yeah. be with. You still black at the end of the day. We gotta stop saying that. You know, you see some, you know, like oh. like, like Charlemagne on Breakfast Club, and then um I forget the 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 one um and I I listen to him the one um black dude I forget his name, but talking about you ain't all the way black if you dating outside of your race. That sounds effing crazy, cause anywhere you go you are gonna be labeled and looked at as yeah. all the way black. 
Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And your kids is gonna be looked at as all the way black. Who you with is who you with. I'm gonna support you. Paul, if it's one, if one of my oh, let me say, if one of my aunties or my sister, whoever, is with a white, Asian, Samoan, whatever, I'm gonna support them to the fullest. I'm a, if you if you rocking with them, I'm a welcome them in. So I'm just saying it gotta be that way both ways. Yeah, but a lot Paul, of times, you... you see, you ain't even see what I'm saying. You don't even want me to finish. <laughs> That's how I be a lot of time with the ladies. Y'all don't even want us to finish. We say we support y'all with it. Y'all don't want to support us so bad. When do y'all, y'all support don't even us? want us to finish. When do y'all I support, support us? you fully? You, yeah, you. I don't look. But I, when does you the you black bring man a white a you bring a white man in here tomorrow? I'm rocking with. Hey, no. <laughs> now I want to hear the same <laughs> thing about me. If I bring a pure we, blonde, snow white, white girl, you 25 years old, up in here, I want to hear you say, we "Paul, know. I'm gonna support you like no other." <laughs> say that right I'm, now. I'm coming to spray money at your say wedding. Say that. No, no, no. I'm a say you supporting me. Like well, no other. You're not gonna do that. I'm just saying, no. <laughs> Say if I did, you supported just, me like no other. Yes, I support you in anything you do. If if you took a lie detector <laughs> test right now, <laughs> are you I gonna pass it? I don't understand. Look, I am not against interracial again. I'm with whatever, whoever you love. But don't be looking for my support when you done dissed us and left and went over there and now you need our support because you're in trouble with no, the white people. Let's take that off of the that's not what this is about. What is this about? Let's say this is only about Hey, stop! We gotta stop getting on each other based off of you dating outside of your race. And let's be real. Let's be real. It's primarily the women who go crazy. Think about this: they are going crazy on Twitter. This dude got a—he's showing a point to me. You gotta let me finish this one. This dude is showing. Put up that picture with him and his baby again, Francis. Let's let's put up this picture. This dude is on Twitter. He was just showing people his freaking baby, and black women. Is going crazy on him, talking crazy about him because he's having a baby with a wife. They looking at the woman, they ain't even looking at the baby. <laughs> it's like, hey, do we got? Are you are you putting that picture up? We like like no 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 the picture of of D'Angelo Russell. Yeah. There we go. They went crazy on this dude because mm-hmm. of that because they see a white woman. Yeah, that's black women. We got to talk about. It. Let's be real. Let's be real. Well, let's what let's I will be real. Say, look. Paul, do you why think you let me, let me, okay, do you think that's Spice, wrong? Because I gotta do say you, something. Do all all them all them women getting on him like that? Do you think that's wrong, or what are your thoughts on all the women on Twitter getting on him because he had the baby with a white woman? So I do feel like, uh, as women, as when we are emotional energy filler, yeah. you know, creatures. Exactly. So it's just like if a white woman was to walk in here right now versus a black woman, it don't matter. It, it's the energy right. in between, honestly. So. It just really depends because what really classifies your race as your race? It could be someone from Egypt, which is in Africa, mm-hmm. that could be as white as she is, and they'll be like, but I'm black. I'm from the motherlands. I'm from this. You know, right. this is where I was born. And us as black people, we accept that because it's just like, oh, no, they wasn't born here. They they know where they're from. They're from Egypt. They're from Africa. But mm-hmm. they just look like this because they're pale skin or this and that. So that's okay, but you guys don't know the background of this people. More you guys might, and it's okay for us as women to judge the situation because, oh, she's not black. So do you think that they're wrong for bashing him when he's showing a picture of his baby with the woman he had the baby with? Do you think that they're wrong for doing that? For the picture, yes. For that's the a, picture, that, and that's all I'm yeah. saying. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like, and, like that's wrong how they bashing the dude. Like, he right. probably didn't even think twice about about getting right, dude, like, dude right. was like thought he was showing you know what I'm saying yeah. showing people his life <laughs> like damn he going crazy I wasn't even thinking about yeah, that you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah no and that's what I said I don't see a problem with that I don't know why they're upset but then again you know thinking why. about well let me tell you why I'm about to tell you right now okay and this excludes me and her of course because we're in the top crim of the crim <laughs> um some women have not really had an opportunity to really be in a relationship have children be married have attention from men black men men that they admire men that they like men that they believe this woman has been single didn't even have one boyfriend can't even get one man to take him serious and then here you go you have an eligible black man who takes a white woman serious goes have a baby they may feel some kind of way about that that's one dude 
Well, there's a lot of black men that date white. That's what we're talking about. Remember? Over, this over, is what we're talking over about. 54% of black men are childless and single. You don't have to worry about D'Angelo Russell, who's in the top <laughs> 0. They don't want 1. them broke ass zero, niggas. Zero, zero, zero they don't want them broke ass niggas. We want, we want the D'Angelo Russell. This is another Where they thing at? That, I, that I bring at? up. Where's Steve This Curry is another thing that at? I bring up, Big <laughs> but then Spice. We do this as a woman, too. Yeah. As okay. women, we do this, too. Talk to him. Because even though. Shut and even though I do have a preference for who I date, I do not date anyone outside of my race. But that is okay. a personal opinion. Preference, yep, and I don't have any problem with any other race. Mm-hmm. But that's just been my track record. Yeah. So for the most part, I'm okay with a man being outside his race mm-hmm. dating a black girl. And I can be okay with it being a white woman as well. But okay. you have to understand that some of these women that – don't classify themselves for black men for some reason they just can't get one yeah it's just more so like okay so your standards may be too high for the men black men you mm-hmm. came across and you actually deserve this white man so i feel like it should be same for the females if the female is white and the male is black it's just like maybe he's came across black women that just yeah didn't meet his you know standards stuff like okay, that right. we can respect that and this white woman did and now right. she has your child yeah, right. and and, and another and thing that and another yeah. thing too, I think that we gotta recognize when because what you said, yeah, that's the way a lot of people think. But yeah. this is what I gotta say about that: D'Angelo Russell is in the top zero point zero 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 one percent of men. Okay, uh-huh. a lot of times, like what you said as well, women is not looking at the men who are probably making got a good got a job and doing what he got to do but probably making about 50 60 grand that's the normal Mm -hmm. over almost 60 percent of men are making around that much because that's the normal women ain't looking at those men and women don't give a damn if that man is with a white woman an asian dude or whatever (laughs) they're not paying attention to him but you want to pay attention to the dude who's a multi-millionaire out here that is in a zero (laughs) <laughs> point one zero 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 percent so it just don't make any sense why y'all even worried about d'angelo russell it's a lot of eligible <laughs> bachelors right. out here that are men that you could go and pay attention to that's waiting yeah you get what i'm saying yeah. but you don't want those dudes so why so why put that on all oh, men well, and why get on d'angelo russell maybe they tried those dudes no how no. do you know they didn't try those no, dudes? No, they ain't giving Some those guys dudes are chance. not even taking you on dates anymore they want you to pay Let's what not do that because we know the truth when it comes down to that. When it comes down to that, a lot of women, let's just be men real. Let's be real. They did studies on this. 85% of the women are going after 15% of the men. All right? You know why? Because, like you said, standards, yes. expectations, yes. what they want. 85% of women, this is why a lot of men in D'Angelo Russell position, I'm not saying he's doing that, but a lot of men in those positions have five, six, seven, eight women, and the women go crazy talking about men or dogs, <laughs> da, da, da. because y'all was going after, y'all was all going after the same dude in that why top 10 faithful? to 15%. Why y'all worried about him? Well, guess what? <laughs> guess what? When it's a, when, when, when look look when it's eighty five percent of dudes that's on the other side looking at y'all like we over here. Why y'all all going up them and now all of us are dogs because y'all going up to them niggas over there. Y'all out your damn mind. This is what happens all the time. So that's what I'm saying. Stop worrying about D'Angelo Russell. It's a lot of dudes out there that's yeah. waiting. Like, hey, we here. <laughs> but you gotta be interested in that dude as well. Okay, how do they and how do the women approach those men? Because men are supposed to approach women, and those men must not be approaching them in the right way because they're still all still single. So how would a woman that decided, okay, I'm giving up on my dreams for D'Angelo Russell and LeBron James, I want to now focus on John John Winkins and how? <laughs> you know, <laughs> how do I get John Winkins to take me serious? Explain it to them, Paul. You explain it to him. Yeah, stop so being, they know, because I ain't got no niggas. Just do this. Stop being blind. Look to your love. Look to your right. Okay. They're your best friends who you friend zone. All right? <laughs> those are those niggas, all right? The niggas who've been trying to get at y'all for a while, but y'all ain't paying no damn attention to. That y'all say, oh, that's the bestie. Yeah, be talking about oh, that's the homie and all of that. Those dudes who you just trying to act like he ain't trying to get at you, but you know damn well the nigga trying to get at you. So what are you talking about? He right next to you. So that's what I'm saying, man. Y'all ladies know what y'all doing. It's this look, look, look. That's why I try to tell dudes, learn the game. You know, I know the game. I know what's going on out here. And that's yeah. why I try to give dudes this information. But when it comes down to the women, y'all got to also lower your expectations, though. 
Y'all, y'all, y'all gotta stop just looking at dudes in that position because you're gonna be looking too long. And then once you get to a place where you are, at, you know what? Let me go on and settle down now. Now you're 40 <laughs> years old. You're, you're like, and I'm not saying that you yeah. can't find it thin. Yeah. I'm just saying you had all these opportunities in your mid 20s to even uh, uh, mid 30s. But you were still looking for Mr. Right. You were looking for D'Angelo <laughs> fucking Russell. All right? Okay, so how did she find him, though? See? What do you mean how she found well, him? I don't know what circles the dude is in or, or, or the way. So, or, no, but no matter what. They might be able to wiggle but, in there, too. But, no, no, no. But, but why, be, <laughs> why, <laughs> why be in a group of 100 to 1,000 that the dude got to pick one from and waste time in your life for that when you got dudes who is ready to start a family who you could go and start a family with in a month? Why would you even do that and put yourself in that position? You're going to be searching after a D'Angelo Russell for the next 10 years of your life with a bunch of other women hoping that he put the ring on your finger. <laughs> you got a better chance of winning a damn lottery. You get what I'm saying? That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> It's less people a, playing the lottery. Yeah, yeah. It's I was going to say, less. it's way okay. less playing. I don't know what Paul's talking about. But, no, they probably are waiting for those men, but some of those men are playing around. Some of those men are not serious. You know, you have to factor that in, too. So, oh, I'm just saying you have to factor that all in because a lot of these men don't that. even want to get married. I can't you said say it yourself. That. Men don't want to get married. They just do it if they find a good woman and she kind of makes him take that step. But some of these guys are just playing around with people's time. I believe so, that if women lowered their expectations and oh, didn't God. mind dating the men who are the supervisors, at Walmart, you know, uh, uh, yeah, uh, working, okay. you know, uh, overnights at FedEx, yeah, okay. you know, in Costco we and places that. like that. If, he better be on. That. He better be on the up and up. If if, <laughs> if, if if women were open in our community, I'm not saying because you know what, no white women they date they average men. Them them the, the Asian them Asian women. No no, I'm not saying all. I'm not saying all. I'm not saying all. But I'm saying this is why the percentages in other cultures are so high. The yeah. next closest to us that is still over. 50% over us is white women at 54%. After that, the Asian community, they married at 80%. Okay. And then you go up even more when you get to the Jewish community and places like that, 90%. So they're dating their average men. In our community, you ain't, you can't pay a black woman to date an average woman uh, on the, when it comes to the majority. The majority. That's why I said, you. if I sit here with 20 black women and I say, it's okay to date the dude that's working at FedEx overnights so that's getting uh, pay 45 to 50 grand a year. She gonna look at me like I'm crazy. No, I most think of the time, and Roger, you know, we did many panels sitting right here. I know, well, and women think that I'm crazy. When I say that, they think that I'm crazy. A dude, 50, oh, no, 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 that ain't gonna work. Mm-mm. Not <laughs> for me. If she's making Not the same me. or more. Yeah, if it she's making more on the woman, some of these women, I said the majority. Men. I'm not saying all, the majority of women mm-hmm. in our community ain't rocking with it. The majority, right? Cause Not all, because they want more. Because all the I'm stress saying. that comes with dating is always something to something. It's okay. always like, look, look you that's know why what? it's nothing to something high. podcast. <laughs> it goes from but, nothing but, to but something. But at the end of the day, don't y'all think this right here? No matter where we got with it, don't y'all think this is a good conversation in our community because we yes. see it so much. Oh, yeah. Because at the end of the day, one of the things that I think definitely helps our community grow because kids need that stability is the marriage rate. We, we got to talk about that and figure that out as a community because 18% is women, 22 to 24% is men. That is super low. Yeah. That's, that's, that's where the division is at right there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, you know, unless we do something about that, we are going to continue to be in a place where we at. You know what I'm saying? And, and, yeah. and, at the, and, and we are in that, we're in that place, but we're the most talented. We're the yeah. most gifted. You know what I'm saying? You know, we have, you know, we're smart, educated, and all of that. But the reason why we cannot get to where we want to get to is because of that division. Division kills The everything. Bible called y'all stiff you know? neck people. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, but before, the, <laughs> before we get to this last topic, um, let's see what the chat is saying. You, we, we, uh, so let's pull up some of the chat, friends, to see what the chat is saying before we get into this last topic. And the last topic of today, we're going to um, – well, you know what? I'll let y'all pick between – the last uh, couple of uh, topics uh, while Francis pulled up some of the chat. So we got the topic about Eva a divorce uh, with her oh, um, yeah, husband, Michael, Michael Sterling. But you also got, um, you got Cardi B who went off about uh, the situation dealing with Larsa Pippen um, because Larsa Pippen said that her and Scotty used to have, you know, sex four or five times a day. And she said a man who want to do that 
is uh, basically uh, on some drugs or <laughs> or gay and stuff like that. So, <laughs> so we got that as well. And then we got um, um, Ice Spice got her chain snatched. So I mean, uh, what's the last topic y'all want to jump on? Ice Spice. You want so the, the yeah, evil man. one? So the evil one. You jumping evil? evil? One? Yeah. Talk okay. About evil, so we're yeah. talking about that. Okay. The guest is a fashion or fashion model. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the yes. Big. Yes. Yes. So um, I actually do it for like little clothing brands as well. Um, so like if you guys need me to model any of like you guys' clothing, you guys can hit me up on Instagram and I'll I usually reply within a yeah, decent give time. Your Instagram. Within a decent time. It's official big spice and that's it. Everything just put together. Um if you type big spice it's in my bio as well, so it might pop up. Um but yes, I am a fashion model. I'm actually working on a project which I can't say because it's confidential as of right now. But once it comes out you guys will see that on my Instagram, stuff like that. So after okay. the project is done, it'll, it'll okay, be yeah. Dope, follow, dope. Hey. follow me. So I actually hey. met um, follow. at the uh, on the strip well, yeah. in Hollywood. Actually, she was gonna take yes. me to Diddy House. Yeah, and she we did. Had some other oh nigga to chase, so I didn't <laughs> go but like a dummy. <laughs> and we had so much fun. It was, and I think she called me. She was like, "Who's there?" I'm like, "Chris Brown here." I'm like, "Diddy's kids is here. Everybody yeah. here." I'm like, "She's like, I should have went over yeah, there." And I was like, <laughs> All right, uh, John Morris, the guest is uh, pretty cool. Aww, hey, John Morris showing love, showing love, man. You know, I mean, nah, you did. You came out. You yeah. was, you was great. Thank you know what you. I'm saying? You came ready. You know. Dressed right, you know, came, <laughs> came with came with your, you know, your opinion, breaking stuff down, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, yeah, look. All yeah. right, uh, Francis, uh, we, uh, are you going through them, Francis? Or, okay, Juliet Hannah, uh, Emirachi is the best. Oh, thank Isn't you. Isn't she? Aww. Show love to that. See, that was a bomb right there. I know. I, I uh, don't that's trust love. you, but I got it. I wow, heard it. Wow, <laughs> that's <laughs> messed up. That's messed up. You know that bored in you. I, I, you I, feel, I feel like how Tyrese feel when his girl said, I'd rather have Paul Walker. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrese, <laughs> That's messed oh. up. I know y'all saw that. <laughs> I didn't see that. Pamela Lima, uh, I want to know about LSU win, but people hate it. Um, but why? Um, you know, uh, Pamela, you know, I don't know if you're listening early, but people earlier, but people are hating because, you know, uh, the other side lost. So that was the real thing at the end of the day they just hating off of that but you know at the end of the day um shout out again to to reese uh they they won they champions you know what i'm saying hey it is what it is uh queen plus three it's about not being black culturally um okay, oh, which, okay. we yeah, spoke we on those topics yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. We it was a couple different topics but about yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and this could have been earlier before we right. got into you know some of that but uh, appreciate the comment Definitely, yeah, you know, appreciate true, the though. support. True, it's though, definitely man. true. Definitely, mm-hmm. definitely. All right. Uh, hey, Francis, if you could keep pulling more, I'm going to just jump into the next topic, but you could keep pulling up more. As I look over, I'll, I'll read them. But um, let's try to get up as much as we can before we got here because I want to read a little bit of what everybody got to say. Optimistic James. Um, then they turn to Gabriel, Gabriel Union, and because she makes more money, she can explore, meaning she ain't want him. She was comfortable. I'm thinking that he's talking Gabrielle about the situation you know, when Gabrielle Union said, said that she, she was used cheating. to make more money on her she husband. Was, the so husband, she was yeah, on yeah. Him. Basically, I think that he's talking about that. Just showing another being, you yeah. know, uh, 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 disconnected and, and, and not being on the same page when it comes down to our community. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, we got a lot of different, you know, instances that we could talk about and, and show when it comes down to to us, you know. Um, mm-hmm. But it's good to have you. At the end of the day. I always say, look, you got to start somewhere. As long as we having these conversations, right, you know, right. that's that's where that's where we start by having conversations. But right, all right, I'm gonna go into this topic. But again, Francis, you know, just be pulling them up, you know, and I read them um as we close out. But um, so when it come down, all right, cool. So when it come down to um Eva, um, let me go back. Oh, so yes. Eva Marcel's um ex Michael Sterling vows to fight for a wife after she files for a divorce. I'm not going to lose her. All right, uh, Eva Marcel, 38, and her estranged husband, Michael Sterling, are not on the same page about their divorce. Real Housewives of Atlanta uh, um, L- um, ally recently filed for divorce from her husband of four years, but Michael revealed in a new statement that he wants to fight to keep their relationship alive. I'm not going to lose my wife, Eva's ex said in a statement to the Jasmine brand on March 29th. I'm going to fight for her with every fiber in my being. I love her, and I plan to show her how much I love her and that our love is strong enough to get to the other side, he added. Eva filed for divorce 
um, on March 23rd and said a relationship with Michael is um, irrevocably broken and that there are no prospects for reconciliation. There are no prospects for reconciliation, um, according to documents obtained by page six. Uh, so, uh, all right. I mean, what are y'all thoughts on this before we get about it? So I love her, yeah. first and foremost. Um, I'm an advocate of the Real Housewives, especially Atlanta, because at one point it was a all-black female panel. Mm-hmm. So it was just like you're actually seeing the lives of females who are successful that are black. Some of them married, some of them not. Mm. So it was just like it was, it was kind of diverse as far as successful females. I feel like that set a platform for reality TV to not just have cat fights and all this bickering and arguing, but to also have something behind it. You guys have products, you guys have businesses. Some of them, I think some of them has been like paralegals, lawyers, different things. So successful mm. black women, that's why I respected it so much. Because Eve is one of them. Mm-hmm. You know, she, I a think model. she's been a supermodel. Yep. Yeah. I think, has she been a Victoria's she won. Secret model? Of course, um, probably, but she, she won America's Next Top Model when it was really in a She did a lot. She did. Yeah, she's, she's done way model. more than yeah, that, but yeah. that's how she started. So yeah. she won when it was in that big Tyra day. Yeah. So yeah. it's just more so, like, honestly, as a strong black woman as she is, um, it, it might be a time for her personally to take that time aside and be like, mm-hmm. hey, I just might need this time to myself. I don't know kind of their history of how long they've been together. Yeah. But with her having a busy career almost all of her life, Mm-hmm. It's just more so she might just need a break from having the responsibility of being a wife, yeah. being a mother, being, you know, an uh, entrepreneur, you know, in these different things. And it might not necessarily be, I don't love you, yeah, mm-hmm. but I can't handle this right now. And if you mm. can respect that, then maybe we can go over it again, but, or maybe not, yeah, depending on how it goes. I think, see, these are conversations they need to have because I think they're not seeing eye to eye on a couple things. Yeah. And if they just came together to see what exactly is bringing them apart, then honestly, like, they could probably get together, figure out something. And he probably would be more so understanding of this is why she needs the divorce. It's not because, you know, she's trying to go do her, be a city girl. Do right. all this other stuff. She's not doing that. Okay, she said, but she said, okay, sorry to cut you off. She I was going to say, too, before you say this, said, okay, yep. now I'll say something different. I was going to say, it said, let us know more about the guests. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. she's probably tired yeah. of letting y'all know. She <laughs> let y'all know about it. But, uh, but uh, Daisy Diaz, do you guys watch uh, Baddies West? Y'all watch that? Sometimes. Or? Of course, okay. my Sometimes. friends are on there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, exactly. okay. I was like, I don't, even, yep. I don't even know what um, that is, but I mean, it's like, a reality show. Oh, that's that. Sean, Natalie Nunn. Um, oh, okay. that's Pinky, not the because because her and Blueface got one too, right? They got yeah, a, they got the mm-hmm. so this is a different one. Yes, but Krishan okay. got that one originally. Okay. Got you, got you. Um, it's on the right. same network as well. So as all we, the we, together. Zoo, zoo, yeah. zoo. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, all right. Um, I was just gonna say real quick. So she said it was irretrievably, irretrievably broken, and as a it's, divorced it's woman, it's over. Like, exactly, she's like, mm-hmm. yeah. and he's trying to save it. So mm-hmm. as a divorced woman with kids, that means either he crossed the line, probably cheating. Or she just don't want to be with him at all. But if you say that, if a woman say that, then she's good, you know. Mm-hmm. And so I don't think any conversation he gonna have unless he just she just is like you know let me just give it one more chance, which she's probably already done for her to go file, you know, because you say it for a while. Right. But if, when you finally you go to the courthouse, that means it's over. Right. You know what I mean? So you know he can try to save it all he want, but he should have saved it when she, he was doing what he was doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But she is a mother of three, so I don't. Why would she want to be a single mother by herself with young children if it wasn't serious? But see, another no one's thing gonna is, take that road. Some ahead. people are more; they make more money mm-hmm. without another oh, right, person right. in their life. Oh, yeah. They do better for themselves, you know, and things in that nature. If you can do better for yourself, knowing maybe this relationship is the reason why, or this friendship, or whatever it is, mm-hmm. if I can do better by myself without you, I'm gonna leave you. I'm going to leave you right there where you <laughs> yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. And I'm I'm stern on that because I got to fix me. Yeah. And what, me comes first before you because how can I help you if I can't help me? Mm. So. I mean, my, my, my thoughts and even advice to Michael or any man in that position is run, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm what not. I'm that? not going after no scoring woman. Oh, I, I, I'm, it's not happening. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, I'm. I'm going in another direction. I'm gonna respect that. I'm. I'm. I'm out of here myself. I'm not playing <laughs> no games with it. I'm not gonna follow you on Instagram or Facebook, <laughs> looking at you going pop it. I'm not doing none of that shit. I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm gonna take my losses. Love you, but I'm over here. You got it. You going to do what you got to do? 
I'm blank right now. I'm going in that direction. So you wouldn't so fight I would for tell your her, marriage, Paul? Hell no. I'm oh, okay. Look, look, look. You, ain't you heard what tr- she said? It's basically, it's cutthroat. It's over. Yeah, but if he bad. Any, like nigga, said, any nigga that want to play around with that is an idiot. I'm, and, 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 and unless she one day want to mm-hmm. cool down and then we can sit down and have a talk. Well, this is what I mean by that. A woman who feel how she feel right now, she would bring a nigga and put it in his face right now if he, if he played with her too much. <laughs> I could see it and feel it by what she said. I could feel it. Like, she's at that place. Like, look, yeah. it's over. Yeah. So if I'm dating this dude or that dude, yeah. I don't care how you feel. Yeah, I'm not playing with that because I know, too, when it come down to me, <laughs> I ain't trying to see none of that. So yeah. me, I'm I'm running another direction. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna say, you know what? I you know I love you, but I'm gonna go and let this go as well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I gotta go and get my because obviously y'all lived a life together. Mm-hmm. So you yes. gotta now go and get on your you know whatever and get yourself together as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. I'm going now into that phase of my life and focusing on that. I'm not playing no games with this. You know how? Look, you know how this dude is gonna feel after he go through all of that trying to get her back and it don't happen. You know where he's going to be mentally as a man at that time? This yeah, is going to be It's worth fighting for Paul because he won his family. They got 3 kids. It's over. Kids her, she... It's over. That's Have you exactly. not heard he's when well, a woman cause said, he... uh, <laughs> it ain't nothing you, know you can, can do, do about. about it. Look, I'm not playing with that shit. It's That's like playing with fire. That's playing with fire. <laughs> I'm not playing with fire. Look, it's over. Divorce papers are in. I'm I'm going my other way too. I'm going to let you do you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to make sure, hey, the kids is good. We we got that settled, that situated. All right, cool. I'm going my way. Yeah. I'm not even looking at what you're doing. I ain't paying no attention to it. <laughs> I'm not playing with none of that. Yeah. So yeah. I would say run, bro. Run. Don't play with that. You know what I'm saying? If it's over, well, it's over. You know? So. She might. Well, we'll see if she decides to actually go through with it. I think she will. But like Spice said, he could really pull the stops because he's saying, I want my wife back. So he might do a couple things, make a couple things happen, and she like, I'll give you one more chance. You know, women do that all the time because we're nurturers and we love. So you never know. If that if it get to, if they get to that place, what's wrong with admitting that you want your person? If they get to that place like, later you know. and we sit down and talk about that, fine. But after you sign those divorce play, papers and it's fresh and you saying there's no chance of us getting back together, I'm running. We yeah. ain't go, I'm not, what am I going to have this conversation now with you for? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. Like, it ain't going to go nowhere good. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing with that. Um, Nicholas, uh, uh, Peter, getting a girl to love is easy nowadays. Just ask a girl if they think OnlyFans <laughs> is a legit job. If they say yes, run. So I, I'm, don't oh, touch back on this. Exactly. Yeah, we got, we got let you, her, cut, you got the space move out the way. Let you go. In. So, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> like I said before, it's some women that actually profit. We talked about Black China. Yeah. And what other investments do she have? Her right. music her, is her music. I'm right. going to leave it at right. that. Mm-hmm. Um, reality show life, that money runs out. Everyone knows that. So it's just like, how many more things do you have to offer? She had her OnlyFans making millions monthly. She don't do nothing. Nothing. She right. posts videos, pictures, right. call it a day. People feed into it. Yeah. Now, that's a legit job for her. She can put that on her taxes. Mm-hmm. But then it's just like some people who just do it for fun to see if it adds extra little money. No, it's not a legit job. Yeah. You're not putting no real time, energy, money. You're not building yourself as a brand yeah. to be like, this is my legit job. This yeah. is what yeah. I want for my legit job. A lot of times, social media and all these other platforms, they happen by accident. You know, some people are naturally funny. They become yeah. a comedian. Now they're as big as Kevin Hart. Right. So yeah. it's just like, it just really depends on how much work you put into it. Now, is it a legit job for anybody who can do it? No. Right. Obviously yeah. not. Because right. it's not a niche in there for everybody that yeah. has their different talents and skills to bring. But it can be a legit job. People can yeah. claim that on their taxes. They'll send you a W-2. Oh, okay. So it's just like, yeah. and they tell you that around tax time every year. And I for sure get that sent in. Go ahead, file those on my taxes as well because it's revenue coming yeah. in from there. Yeah. So it's just like, these are, that's like asking is being a go-go dancer a real job. Uh, you're an employee. Yeah. You have a W-2. They have your ID, so, yeah. uh, social, everything yeah. you need. You're under their company as an employee. 
And so it's, it's a, a legit job. job. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, that's your answer. <laughs> it's exactly. a legit job. Well, it's just, uh, Daisy, did any of you guys good graduate? Good, good answering. Thank you. Love the podcast. Uh, I made too much money for college. Uh, and it, yeah, what about you? <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Well, I was yes, in college. I, I was in the money. I made too much money. <laughs> um, hey. Yes, I did. But, but, hey, I advise anybody, if you don't know what you're trying to do and you ain't getting bread, go to college, stay in college. I yeah. dropped out because I was getting bread. That's just me. I hear you that. Know what I'm saying, but um, yes, I did graduate, um, and I may or may not get my master's soon, but I'm doing fine. But yes, I did graduate from university. Yeah. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. and me as well. Yeah. English literature, of yeah. course, okay, and nice. that's the only yeah. thing that I'll ever do, and and we'll never do anything with it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did you see what I'm saying? I, well, I did journalism <laughs> and film. I've been working, but it's like I could have did anything and still working because the personality's in you. But it's mm-hmm. all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I, but I was there. Hey, hey, even my my guidance counselor said this ain't for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well your guidance she counselor was, was talking to She you. saw what I was on. You yeah. like, yeah, this ain't for you. You know what I'm saying? But uh, but yeah. yeah any last words? You know, this is this was great. You know, uh, this was a lot of fun. Thank you, know? you for coming I mean, yeah, by. Last minute. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, I swear I was talking to him on the phone, and I'm like, you know, I know this girl. I want to reach out to her and see if she come through. So I appreciate you coming through and Definitely. taking that call and yeah. you know making this a great real experience. Talk, real yeah. talk. Any last words? You know, um, it's always no problem. Anytime she calls, you know, I run. Literally on the red carpet, she seen me and she was just like, "Spice." I stopped talking to whoever I was talking to. I don't even remember who I was talking to, but I was talking into some camera. Yeah. <laughs> I left them. Went over to her, answered whatever she needed answered. Aww. You know, made sure she was responded to and actually interacted with, because it was a lot of journalists there. Yeah, it was a lot yeah. of you know different platforms there, and I was just like, I know automatically, I'm not talking to everyone. Yeah, right, and, right, 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 yeah. right. And so you know, after I got done talking to her, you know, she sent me everything. So she's very yeah. persistent on a lot of stuff that she does, and I'm with that. If you're persistent, I can work with you. Yeah. And so that's why when she called me, I'm like, no problem. Like yeah. it j- literally takes two words. Hey, can you come? Dope. Hey, I can. Yep. I can Dope. Say Dope. Yes, I and can. it was fun. Yep. It was definitely yeah. fun. We yeah. touched on different topics, you know, and we got perspectives from three different lenses. So it's just okay. honestly, it was very helpful too. Dope. You know, just seeing the different perspectives out there. Because yeah. you hear one perspective, you hear another, but it's also many more out yeah. there that yeah. you don't get to hear. Right. Dope, dope. You know? Right. Uh, it, the, any last words about the podcast, anything? Like, what, what are your thoughts about today? You know what I'm saying? So, the podcast today was honestly, like I said, it was very, very fun. Yeah. Um, But for the most part, I think it's very, like, informational to those watching it to understand that y'all don't really have to stand on sides because I think everybody in this room is pretty neutral. Yeah, um yeah. and you can take a stand of not having one technically and being like this is okay like you Real don't talk. have to take his side her side black side white side it don't matter mm-hmm. so i think we just set a different platform for people who don't know where to stand but yeah, god Real said talk, we got to pick talk. a side so <laughs> y'all better pick a side i'm always on god's side <laughs> hey! You know what I'm Get on God team. Otherwise you're gonna lose. You know, real talk. Real talk. Anyway, okay, yeah. Well thank you. Official Big Spice on Instagram. I just wanna plug that in there for her. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. I I appreciate you. you know everybody who watched. <laughs> and you sir. Love you all. <laughs> hey, all, all my men out there, grind, keep doing your thing, yeah. stand up. You know, if you go to court, make sure you got your documents together. Make sure if you got if you get into a serious relationship, you ready to get married, get a prenup. All right, all right. Starting tonight. And make sure. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it off. I'm just saying. Cut all right, all right. I love though. you all. <laughs> we up out of here, Mirachi Big Spice. Deuces. Hey. Hey. I gave up and stopped believing. Oh, the world around me started crashing. I didn't see the